Now, what in the carnival is going on here? Guys, I am extremely confused. So, Carnival has recently implemented a new rule specifically for this cruise and a couple other select cruises. However, I was able to somewhat intentionally, unintentionally break this rule no problem as I boarded a Carnival ship yesterday. I'll explain what I mean in today's video. So earlier this week, I made a video highlighting Carnival's new rule and policy that they will be implementing. Also talking about Carnival doubling down as they try to go to a new direction as far as their branding and somewhat cleaning up their act. They talked about things as far as the policies that have been implemented for years, as far as disorderly conduct, the $500 potential penalty charge if you are fighting on board the ship, as well as being banned for Carnival for life, as well as potential jail time. Now, one new rule that Carnival implemented was stating that on select ships, they would no longer be allowing speakers on board any of their ships. Looking at the feedback from many of you on that video, some of you were disappointed while many of you were excited, stating that on Carnival ships, specifically the older ones doing these shorter itineraries, things can get a little crazy when it comes to the speakers, a little loud in the hallways, and well, just people not knowing how to act on the lead old deck, blasting the speakers and music that some may or may not want to hear. Looking at the situation from an objective standpoint, in my previous video regarding this topic, I did tell all of you that I did understand because I have been on ships where the music was extremely loud. I could hear it from other rooms, down in the hallway, and it was annoying. However, when it comes to the speaker, there are some people, as many of you highlighted, that may want to only bring the speaker to take it off while in port while they hang out at the beach. Understandable. I also talked about it while some people may want to use the speaker while maybe in the shower, or maybe they're setting up the ambiance, the mood, while some candles are lit up. Not real candles, electric candles. I had to highlight that this time because last time people went crazy. No, I'm not talking about real candles. You know what I mean. But my point is, you can look at the bad or good of the situation, but the reality is Carnival has made the rule. So I am currently on board the beautiful Carnival Freedom. As you can see, I have the Disney Dream next to me, and we are in Nassau, Bahamas. Now, I did board this ship yesterday, and I brought my speaker in my carry-on bag just to see what happened. Now, some of you may get angry about this, but I was a little confused on the rules as John Hell highlighted that it was for Super Bowl cruises later on, but a lot of people were saying it's for all cruises. Some people were saying it was for select cruises that were going to be determined at a later date. Some people were saying it was shorter cruises. It was a giant mess. So for me, I took my speaker anyway, and I thought worst case scenario, they were going to confiscate it and hold it. When I arrived to the port yesterday, that's exactly what was taking place until they got to my bag for some reason. They checked my bag three times, ran it through the machine three times then they had me open it and pull out all the contents because I have a lot of tech in my bag as far as speakers my laptop my tablet you name it I got it all in there microphones there's a bunch of stuff so I took it out and then they took out my carnival speaker I told them immediately I said I'm sorry I forgot we can't bring speakers that is a speaker and they looked at everything looked at the boat speaker and said oh you're good and I said we're good I didn't bring up the speaker again after that fact. I just said we're good and they, they just let me go. I put everything back in my bag and I was able to bring my speaker on board. So my question is, is it a rules for thee and not for me situation? Do keep in mind that the security at the terminal in Port Canaveral does not know who I am. So I was joking about that, but I was confused. Maybe it's because I was bringing a carnival speaker and they know those speakers are not very loud. I'll be honest with you. They don't work that well, but they do look cool floating in a hot tub. But I was a little confused. How come I was able to bring my speaker? Meanwhile, I saw them confiscating everybody else's. And it's not like I intentionally tried to hide the speaker. I told them it was there. I left it in my carry-on and looked at it in the x-ray. And they even pulled it out. So why is that? It's a big head scratcher for me. And just keep in mind, guys, I'm not somebody that intentionally tries to break the rules. This is something that is harmless in my personal opinion. So I want to see how all this will play out so then I can relay the information to you for the future. Now, just to be clear here, I have no intention of playing the speaker in my room whatsoever. I never do. Usually I'll use it out in port. However, this is somewhat an experiment that was, well, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, successful. Maybe some of you out there can now just understand, just go get a carnival speaker. They won't charge you for it. They won't take it away from you. You won't get in any kind of trouble and you can bring it on the ship because they know that the speakers are just not that loud. But maybe that's just something that 
just kind of slip through the radar or under the radar rather who knows but let me know your thoughts on all this in the comment section below for many of you out there do you still believe that speakers should go ahead and just be banned all together on carnival ships or all ships for that matter i really want to know your thoughts in the comment section below by the way i do have a vlog of my boarding day here on board the carnival freedom and as usual i will have a very in-depth thorough review of my super bowl four day cruise here on board the carnival freedom as usual i love all of you i appreciate all of you and i'll see all of you later take it easy